That's right. Uh, on one of those big days recently. So he's been a hot jock, that is for sure and certain. So this race is always at Trentham. So you've got that Ellerslie Auckland derby and the Oaks from Wellington in Trentham. So a beautiful mountain range in the background. Something still very quaint about New Zealand racing, but they are going through a surge at the moment. Prize money's up. Optimistic group of people now in New Zealand racing. Here's George Simon for his call of the New Zealand Oaks. One of the true classics of the New Zealand turf. And here's the latest edition. The Phillies are ready. Set to go for Group 1 glory. The Oaksfield gates are back and they're away in racing. Still back on was one of the slowest to go. Love Janie will go back as well as they all look around looking for their early spots. Harlow Rocks, one of the quickest in his stride, and Cupid's Arrow away quickly in positivity, closer to the inside and wider out race ace is going forward. Carly Al Farasha right behind them as they whip to the judge and a lap from here. Shanti Lace over on the fence, followed by the next Livid Sky Poultry Tutor. And this for the back call a friend who's a bit keen as they head to the first turn. Getting back in the field, sign of peace. Wren on the inside of those, followed by Bozo. Well back, Love Janie still bang on sheep. And Moonlight Magic whips them in. So as they head out of the straight, the Oaksfield is headed up by Harlow Rocks. Shows the way and takes them into the back straight and leads it by two lengths on Cupid's Arrow. Third in the race is Positivity, and it's a pretty true sort of pace set up by Harlow Rocks in front as they stride to the back straight. Fourth is Race Ace. Carly Alfarasha underneath it, followed then by Livid Sky. Shanti Lace, the Foxton Philly at the 1400, two and a half away to the Lowland winner, who's midfield on the inside. That's Poltritudinus to the outside call of Friend. Two and a half away, Sign of Peace, followed by Wren and Wellback Bozo. Still bang on at the 1200 metres, a long way back with Sheep. Moonlight Magic is back with those runners. And uh, at the uh, back end of the field is Love Janie. And I reckon there's about 15 first to last of the Oaks of the leader, Harlow Rocks, and a clear leader. She's flying solo. She leads by three lengths. Cupid's arrow second. Third positivity. Race ace fourth. Carly Alfarasha followed on the outside. Livid Sky. Then Shanti Lace. Call a friend. Pulchitudinous the inside. Sign of peace. Further back, Wren still bang on. Looking to pick up ground. 700 metres to go. Well back, Bozo. Love, Janie Sheaf. Moonlight Magic last of all. Up to the home turn. And with about 500 metres to go, Harlow Rocks on the inside, joined by Positivity. The outside race ace behind those, Carly Alfarasha. The inside, Shanti Lace to the outside. Livid Sky starting to wind up with a pretty good sort of run there across the track. 300 metres to go. And here's Poltritudinus leading go. Poltritudinus ranged up, hits the lead. Carly Alfarasha coming with her. Positivity and race ace. But the Lowland winner forged to the lead. Poltritudinus has drawn away with the Oaks. Ultra Tudinus is going home to get the group one for Chad Ormsby. Second positivity and third Carly Alfarasha rattling home Bozo followed by Race Ace Call a Friend the inside Moonlight Magic from Sheaf further back of the field Livid Sky Wren well back here Shanti Lace over on the inside Harlow Rock Sign of Peace Cupid's Arrow back with Stella Bang on and Love Janie the last. Gee, she was strong. That was Justin Evans, the call. He's taken over from Tony Lee at Trentham and for Chad Ormsby, the big group one, and Warren Kennedy as well. So, And the market mover, or the hot horse, I should say, from the tab, wins the Oaks from New Zealand. She was impressive, Lizzie. She was very strong late. I thought Opie was going to get that 98th group one winner at the top of the straight, but Poultra Tunius was oh so good. A daughter of Rote and... She writes a bit of history today in the Oaks. Yeah, it certainly does, and really nicely ridden by Warren Kennedy. You can see that interesting style that he's got. He gets down and really bounces in the saddle to get the very best out of her. But it wasn't a case that he even had to do that. Look at her on the line. She was soft. What will be most fascinating is what they do next with her. If they bring her over for the Oaks or even a derby if they want to dodge um, orchestral. So lots to look forward to with this absolutely magnificent staying filly. Well, Chad Ormsby has shown that he's prepared to travel. You know, Mike Moroni, the father-in-law, they travel the, the ditch shows so well. No, she was impressive. Positivity hung on well and Kuali Alfarasha did her best. She just didn't quite get the trip in the end, but the winner was quite dominant. So hope you enjoyed the New Zealand Oaks, a feature of our Saturday racing on 7, the Group 1 today. So off to race.